And the fallout continues here at Queen's Park over leaked draft legislation that the NDP claims proves the Ford government is going to further privatize health care. Now, the PCs seem to be in full-on damage control, offering the media one-on-one -on -one interviews with the health minister. And trust me, that does not happen around here very often. It was a very good chance to sit down with her and ask her to clarify what this draft legislation means for the future of health care. Yesterday, at the end of the news conference, you were asked a couple of times, will you expand privatization? And you didn't, you didn't say yes or no. So will you expand? I mean, we already have some privatized services. Will you expand them? Our focus is on expanding our publicly funded system. But if somebody wanted to pay for themselves and not go through OHIP, would, there, would you expand opportunities for them? That is not what we were looking at doing. The draft legislation also shows the government is considering replacing LINS, the local health integration network started by the Liberals, with a super agency. The interim Liberal leader today acknowledged the LINS are flawed and can leave patients in a bureaucratic maze. But he's asking the PCs to fix the flaws instead of blowing the system up. The maze exists largely for frail elderly seniors and people with complex needs. And the healthcare system you're always going to be working to improve that. The Premier's dug the dismantler. He's dismantling. No, he's dismantling. He's going to dis they're dismantling health care in this, what they're proposing. Instead of building on what's already there, I'm not saying don't change it. Where you have weaknesses, work on that. Christine Elliott insists the government is still consulting, and this leaked draft legislation is not finalized yet. It is very important to still have the, the regional voice uh, in matters of health care because health care issues in Northern Ontario are very different from uh, Toronto. Unions weighed in on the issue as well today. Promising to fight as hard as they did against the Mike Harris government. The Ontario Health Coalition is prepared to go to war. We're going to fight this privatization right to the bitter end. Are you going to blow up health care? I mean, unions are promising a major battle. Are we going to go back to the Mike Harris days with massive protests and upheaval? No, we are going to improve health care. Okay, we're just going to have to wait and see what the final legislation looks like. Not sure when that's going to come out. Some people think it could be late February, early March. And another big story here at Queen's Park is the future of all-day kindergarten. Both the education minister and the premier refused to commit to all-day kindergarten beyond the next school year. Well, around 4.15, 4.30, the education minister today put out a release committing to full-day learning. That might not be the same as full-day kindergarten. A spokesperson clarified somewhat, saying that parents can rest assured there will be some form of all-day learning, but they are looking to make cuts. Full-day kindergarten costs $1.5 billion a year, so it may not be exactly what is being offered today.